Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be covering an Adidas sneaker. These are the Samba OGs in the navy color. Shout out to my Adidas family for hooking me up with this pair. Let's take a quick sneak peek. unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time welcome in today we are going to be discussing another color scheme on the oh so popular samba og if you have not snagged yourself a pair this is definitely the fashion statement that is on every single trending fashion blog magazine you name it right now everyone and their moms is wearing the sneaker adidas is pushing the sneaker and it is definitely a fashion statement shoe that pretty much goes with everything, especially if you're somebody like myself who likes to coordinate with skirts and dresses and things like that. So we'll go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I styled this navy color combination, and then we'll conclude with how much these are retailed at. Let's jump right into it. As far as the quality goes, this is such a high quality sneaker. You can definitely tell in the leather that they use, it's very premium. And then the new buck suede on the front of the toe box also feels super Super expensive and looks very luxurious. Definitely a monochromatic feel for the upper. We've got just nice navy laces and then a tumbled navy tongue. Then we've got some gold accents again, really making this sneaker look high end. It almost kind of feels to me like it's designer, specifically with this gold metallic color combination that they have for the branding. And then we've got a white color combination for the Adidas logo and branding. If you're not feeling the navy laces, you do get an optional white lace as well. I kind of like this monochromatic look. I love that it's just kind of blended into the tongue itself. So you do have that option though to lace swap out if that's something you want to do. Let's take a look at those details then move along to the side paneling. side panels the stripes are covered in a nice cream tone which I think complements the navy perfectly we've got more of that high quality tumbled leather and then that works its way to the back of the heel on the collar we've got more of that cream tone and on the lateral side we've got more of that same color blocking except we have the samba which is in that metallic gold color combination the insole is also um, in gold super high-end looking actually that insole there just kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. Uh, but this definitely feels to me like it's a bit more premium than a lot of the Samba OGs that I've had in hand. So I may actually not be exactly sure on the price point that we'll get to at the conclusion of this video, uh, but this is a very premium uh, Samba OG. Even the collar here you can see is fully covered in that cream leather. Then as we work our way to the bottom, we've got a darker brown gum sole bottom that's uh, translucent. So really just kind of brings the entirety of the sneaker together color wise. All right, let's take a look at those last and final details.
far as size and fit goes, I would say stick true size on this one. Again, this is a very narrow silhouette. So if you don't have similar feet to mine, which are high arch narrow feet, if you have flat or wider feet, you may want to take into consideration going half a size up on these because of how narrow they are. All right. So now let's talk about styling this right now. I feel like all the things I've been seeing in a lot of articles is how to style Navy. I know that Navy can be a very complicated shade for people to really figure out how to style with. I think that this is a very stylish colorway right now, specifically into the summer. Lots of people tend to wear navy and white stripes, very common kind of look. Uh, so I decided to definitely complement this sneaker with all of my Adidas pieces that uh, were given to me. So for the first look, I wore some cream wide legged pants that have some Adidas stripes on the side. And then I wore this really cool Adidas zip up tee. Um, or not really a tee, I guess it's more like a short sleeve jacket, but it was in a cream and blue navyish color, which I feel like complemented the sneaker perfectly. Second look went monochromatic with an all white velour quarter zip top with matching uh, pants. And final look, I decided to really go all out with matching this navy with an Adidas navy and cream sweater. And I wore those same cream Adidas wide leg pants for a very traditional uh, complimentary look. So I think these are probably going to be around $100, but because of the quality material on these, I'm thinking it's going to be slightly higher than your traditional Samba OG price range. As far as dates for the release on these, these have yet to release in the US. I did see that they will have a release in Japan, but uh, it is to be decided, I guess, whether or not these will be releasing here in the US. Uh, but we'll keep you posted as soon as I know. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We'll catch you all on the next episode. <laughs>